tonight, in the words of the Apostle Paul, I bow my knee to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will give honor to the Lord for being here tonight. We honor the pastor, my friend and brother, Dr. Steve Paulus, to all of the officers, members, and friends of this great church, to all my brothers and sisters in Christ, ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be here. I'm happy to be escorted here tonight by Mrs. Puddin. <laughs> I always enjoy fellowshipping with this church and with Pastor Paulus. We got together the other day for lunch and talked about old times. And tonight, if you will allow me to be redundant by saying it's the most wonderful time of the year. Amen. May I invite your attention tonight to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. And it reads as follows And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. And this is what Christmas is all about. Not about what I want. It's about what God has already given me. The scripture says, thanks be to God for the unspeakable gift. And that is the greatest gift anyone could ever receive. When you listen to the news these days, it's always bad news. The ravages of war, young people dying an untimely death, the threat of nuclear war, diseases, running rampant, out of control. That's bad news. But tonight, I bring you good news. The good news is God sent his son, his only begotten son, into this sin-cursed world to save us from our sins. There may be someone here tonight who feels that no one loves me, that nobody cares for me, that no man cares for my soul. But I'm here tonight to tell you that God cares. God cares about everyone. And he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All of us were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Jeremiah said we were transgressors from the womb. We were separated from God. But God sent Christ into this world to reconcile the world unto himself. The angel brought the name from heaven. And the angel said, thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Acts 4 and 12 says there is none other name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. That's why I say I'm a Jesus only. I'm a Jesus freak. I love the Lord because he heard my cry and my supplication. The gift that God gave to the world 
Jesus Christ, the gift of grace, the gift of life. So we say thanks be to God for the unspeakable gift. God bless you tonight and Merry Christmas.